All right, joining us now, burning the midnight oil with <laughs> us, is CBS News Miami's Jim DeFeedy. Yeah, Jim, President Biden passing the torch, signaling this transfer to a leadership change to his vice president, Kamala Harris. We were watching the speech there, and you were saying maybe it didn't feel so much of the passing of the torch to begin with. It sounded almost like the speech he may have given himself had he been the candidate. Yeah, no, no, this was clearly not the speech that Joe Biden had ever envisioned having to give. He was expecting to speak on the fourth night, which is the night when the candidate speaks. But, you know, the speech went about 50 minutes, and I would say that the first 35, 40 minutes of the speech was a vigorous defense of what he has accomplished, what he has achieved, what he believes are the high marks for his administration. And then it segued into that moment where it was the passing of the torch that you were talking about, where he talked again about that notion of, of sacrifice and, and wanting to do what's best for America and that decision that he made to step aside, to not run. Uh, and there was a remarkable moment where I thought, it almost got missed because he said, there are those who th believe that I'm angry by this. And then the folks started chanting, thank you, Joe, thank you, Joe. And yeah. it was almost drowned out, but he almost sounded a little subdued. And he says, I'm not angry. And, you know, I don't know if I be entirely believe he him. He sounded kind of angry. He, <laughs> yeah. he's, well, he sounded defiant. Yeah. He sounded yeah. as if he wanted to make sure that, that it wasn't that he believed he was stepping aside because his policies failed. He believes his policies have been successful, and we can debate that another time. What he was basically saying was that for the good of the country, he was stepping aside because he thought that Kamala Harris had a much better path, and he gave her a full-throated endorsement. There really was the passing of the torch. It was emotional towards the end. Tim Walls, as we were noting, breaks into tears <laughs> pretty easily, but it was one of those moments where it, you could tell that, that it was a powerful a powerful time. This is this is now Kamala Harris's party. The Democratic Party is now her party. This was Joe's farewell, as it was. So, what does she have to do now? Yeah, she has to again. Tonight, now we have to turn the page. Now it's going from what was to what will be, and she has done a very good job of making this campaign about the future. That, that phrase that she that she I think in part stumbled upon, but realized it resonated. We're not going back. That was the key. I think those four words, we're not going back in 2024, are as powerful as what Donald Trump coined the four words, make America great again in 2016. I think this forward-looking campaign, but she has to really still introduce herself to the country. She has to explain why she is should be president, what her policies are going to be, and that's what the next three nights are going to be about. All right, Jim DeFeedy, we'll be hearing you from you for the next three nights as feeling, well. Thanks so much for a, your insight. I have a feeling we're going to be staying up late. Late. <laughs> a lot of nights this week. It's, uh, it's the convention after dark. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's, <laughs> all right.